that, you weirdos. So click that guy uh, for my big three detailed description of my tent shelter system. But this video, as I'm sure you're aware because you've clicked on it, uh, is going to be about my backpack. So this is the Osprey XS58. I mentioned in the blog, first thing I should have done when I got bought this bag um, is take this brain off. It's really easy to do. Boom. And boom. Sent it home. This storm flap, Osprey storm flap, covers the bag and clips down so it still protects it. Um, this really just served as a catch-all for all the crap that I shouldn't have brought in the first place. And um, I sent it home loaded up with all sorts of stuff, including the straps off this bag uh, that I didn't need. Osprey is really nice with this bag. They make it really easy to take off the extra straps along the side and along the bottom. Uh, I think I have some pictures of the, how it looks before I messed with it um, on my blog, which I'll post a link to in the description below but yeah so this guy should have just sent home good in theory not what i needed in practice um 58 liter bag that's what this number is so it refers to the volume capacity of it i'm sure most of you guys know that but if you stumbled on this for some random reason there's a little info before you click away because you realize how boring this stuff is anyway so it's a big big pretty pretty big bag in there a lot of space um probably a little bit larger than i needed but it was nice because i could fit my bear canister in it horizontally instead of shoving it in vertically um, and it would just kind of rest right in there also it let me pack in more food for some of the longer trips um this one does have sorry for the noise we're on a street where our house backs up to a street the uh camelback bladder hydration bladder whatever goes back in there i actually used a platypus um, with a little gear loop to hang up here. The outside, you have the big front pocket that I usually store in my like first aid, toiletry, maps, that type of stuff. Easy, quick access in here. Water bottle pockets, top, front access. Same over here, top and front access. Nice to get stuff this way or in like that. Um, hydration tube to come out the side up here. The compression system on here would have probably been useful, but I took the straps out and just didn't really bother getting them back. Um, sometimes if my bag was only like three quarter or halfway full, it, it would kind of sag out and it would have been nice to compress it all back, but it is what it is. I just kind of repacked with it and uh, dealt with it as best I could. So. Um, yeah, the bottom held up surprisingly well, even though it's just the same nylon that's all in the rest of this. Um, so I was really pleased with that. And then padding wise, this is like one of the most comfortable padding uh, systems I've ever felt, honestly, which is kind of a surprise because it doesn't look like much. Uh, you do have the suspended back panel in here to give you a lot of nice ventilation. Uh, they're air escaped, or excuse me, airspeed, can't read, uh, back panel help keep me cool in the desert and in Oregon when it would get pretty hot. Um, I really like this bag. I would go into a lot more detail about some of the stuff on my blog, um, but two things to note, one of which is just kind of funny. Um, a deer chewed through the end of this thing, so I just had to make do and tie it, and I had a, some issues with this uh, press button buckle thing or whatever popping out, but I didn't really use the uh, trekking pole scabbard that much, but yeah. And the second thing to note, the really the biggest thing I don't like about this bag, um, and I posted some pictures about it, like I said, uh, in my blog, but this shoulder strap is great, 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 great. And then for whatever reason, this strap is supposed to go through this little loop. This loop was like right here, and so it kind of held this strap in there. Well, that was great and everything, I guess. I don't really know what purpose it served. But over time, this would apparently grind down on my shoulder straps as I was walking. And um, one day on trail, I just noticed my pack wasn't fitting right. My left shoulder strap kept slipping. And I looked over, 
all right i randomly found it one night i was like sitting down i had my pack ready to go to bed i was like what the hell is that so i looked at it and sure enough this strap had actually cut through the loop right here and had caused the loop to come unattached this became free and because this one was free and this one wasn't it was imbalanced loading and so it was causing my shoulder straps to slip so i cut the other one because i noticed that it was fraying through my shoulder strap on this side and already kind of messing with that so i just cut it uh, and i didn't have any more issues with it later but now i kind of have this sketchy strap down here um, this one's not too bad but this i'd be concerned about it lasted me like this from lone pine to the end of the trail so a good uh over 700 miles um i guess maybe even closer to 8 or 850 but i mean i don't know why that was necessary but all it's done has caused me an issue and i don't think it really helped me out any but whatever i can send it to osprey and maybe they can fix it they have their almighty guarantee which is pretty sweet uh, other features on this pack before i forget the hip belt pockets on here are kind of small uh, they really don't do much other than fit like a cliff bar, some chapstick, little tiny essentials. I kind of use them to ration snacks more than anything else. And then up top, these look pretty tiny. They don't look like you can fit more than maybe a chewy bar or something like that in there. Uh, I was actually able to fit my, I don't have it on me, but my cell phone, my Galaxy S6 or S5 in a case, in a life proof case, in this pocket. So I mean it's stretched out far enough to fit my phone. Um, again excuse the road noise to uh to fit my phone so that i could snake up my earbuds and go about my way and have my phone in an easy to access place when my running shorts didn't have pockets so that was really nice um yeah i was happy that this never got any tears or snags or anything in the actual back panel i was afraid that potentially i'd have to do some sort of weird duct tape job back here but it's all holding up pretty well as you can see um yeah like i said it's oh one of the other things i like about this as opposed to my aether uh, 70 from osprey that i have is that this from where the uh, top of your shoulder straps connect to the top of the pack is a pretty low profile so i was able to bend my head back pretty far and look up and around and do everything like that without having to worry about smacking the back of my head on the back of this like i do on my aether sometimes so that was pretty nice but yeah all in all solid pack really liked it like i said if you want to hear or read a little bit more in-depth review on that check out the link in the description below to my actual blog post on my big three but uh yeah this is the osprey exos 58 used on my southbound through hike of the pacific crest trail and i honestly was really happy with it other than that shoulder strap thing solid pack um if you like what you're seeing feel free to check out the blog uh you can follow it with your email um, again feel free to click on that guy to get the link to my shelter system review and then i haven't made it yet as of right now but you can also click on these guys one of these somewhere in here and um i'll have a link to my sleeping system set up as well so that's all for now awesome pack oh one more thing the osprey exos 58 is like one of the better packs that i found you can buy at a store try on make sure you like it and then leave with it um other than that there are other great lightweight backpacking options z-pack six moons designs um uh what's the other one dana designs uh, granite gear makes some good ones um ULA all those are great companies but it's hard to try on those packs because not a lot of people carry them in store especially big box retailers you have to be more niche areas like close to the PCT where you're going to find retailers that actually carry those in the store Lake of the Sky Outfitters in um, uh, South Lake Tahoe had a few ULA packs I was able to put hands on and look at and it was cool and I like them but I never was able to try any out and I didn't want to mess with shipping and all that kind of stuff to get one only to find out I didn't like it. So uh, it's not the be all end all pack basically is what I'm saying, but it is a great pack for what I used it for. I really enjoyed it, but 
do your research, figure out what you like. And if you want to try out more, just give yourself enough time for shipping, getting it in, sending it back if you don't like it, and at least getting it on one or two test runs. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.